A very good afternoon, you four team to Viola. This is Ms. Ang here, and you can see I'm quite enjoying the afternoon sunshine and the smell of the salt air. It's really neat to appreciate the sun when we have it, and, and also just the fact that we can um, be a little bit more relaxed, but we still need to be careful, don't we? Mm -hmm. That's right, yes. So what we're going to do today is, I know you've been doing a lot more playing, which is terrific at this term. And, uh, oh, sorry, that's the back. <laughs> this is the front of our Viola Time Joggers book. You know, we've got our CD happening and I'll be playing um, song number 34 with you today. Let's have a look at song number 34. And when you can see that, we've got something called the Cattle Ranch Blues. Now, after you have done your warm-ups for this, for this session, making sure that your notes and your strings are in good tune, then we are going to be looking at Cattle Ranch Blues. Now, the idea is we have a little direction as to how to play it. And I guess like the cattle and in the country, you can think of what it's like in the country. It's, it's, it's got lots of dirt and stompy, you know, so we're sort of stomping around in the dirt with the cattle, whereas, it's, you know, it's, it, it can get, get pretty dusty and dirty out there. So we're going to have a listen to how the cattle ranch blues sound. We're actually going to do probably just half of it today. Okay, so we're going to do the first, first six bars, all right? Have a look at what strings we start, we, we play for, for that section here, okay? Okay, so our warm-ups are from page 22. And if you need to write any fingerings down, then do so. Just put your finger numbers on top, not the letter names. Remember, it's important to put your, your fingerings. For instance, I'll just give you an example. Okay, well done. Some of you have realised that we are actually doing notes on the D string. Well done. Okay. So, for instance, I might have something like second finger there because it's F sharp. That's right. Well done. We, so we are doing the second and third fingers on the D string. All right. But where do we go to next? Can, I, can anyone tell me? Yes, we we're on the G string. Yep, correct. What did you say? Yes, that's right. It is the first finger. So yeah, we've got two first fingers there. Mm -hmm. First fingers. And then what's next? Of course, the second finger and then the open D. All right. Okay. You see what I've done here? Mm, okay. I've just put the letter names. Oh, sorry. Not the letter names, but the, the fingerings there. Um, so that way you can see it clearly. All right. Okay. Now that looks the same as the first bar. I don't really need to write that down again. That's F sharp, G, F sharp, isn't it? Okay. Now that looks the same. It's on the G string there, first finger, and then we've got the second. And then we've got this note here, a natural note. Now when you see this note here, the symbol of the natural like that, means that if we have the note C sharp, which is written here, and then that note becomes a natural sign, that actually means that in that, in that particular note in that bar, we, we actually don't play C sharp. We just play the note, the natural C note. So I'll show you where that is. Basically, uh, three fingers on the, on the G string, which we know is C. So that just basic that means that first finger, second and third will be close. Second and third, okay? So that's that's where we are. Let me just show you. So at the moment we're on the so we're we're playing let's just have a look at the first couple bars. So bar 1 F sharp G F sharp. <laughs> Okay, on the G string, on the G string, first finger. 
open D. I'll do it again. Okay, can you see this? Here's another view. Go this way. Can you see this one? So this is on the D string. First finger on the G. First finger B. Open D. Okay, that's two bars of Cattle Ranch Blues. Now, third bar sounds like bar one, F sharp, G, F sharp. So I'll play that for you. Okay, nothing different about that. Now, bar four. Okay. C natural is actually the normal C, which we know. So A, A, B, C. So there's nothing different about that note. We actually know it. So, I'm going to put bars three and four together. Got it? If you need to go back to bars one and two and three and four, go ahead. We will do now bars one, two, three and four. Okay, have a listen to this. So I'm counting four beats in a bar for every bar. One and two and three and four and. One, two and three and four and. So that's bars one, two, four. Now two more bars we're gonna work on today. And that is B, C, B, this is bar five. Take a look at this one. B, C, B, then we over, go over to the D, E, D. And remember, make sure those minims are played with twice as much bow as your crotchets, okay? So, can you see where the, the that, um, that natural sign appears again. Now that's mainly because this piece of music has C sharps throughout the whole piece. So whenever you see the natural sign, that means that we need to lower the note C sharp half a step. So that means that the note will sound closer to the note B. Okay, so second and third finger will be next door to each other. And how I'm going to indicate that is, is this is not actually a, um, an up bow, but that is that, those, um, that little V shape there I did there is more like um, a sign which I use for a semitone, like a half step. And let's just have a look while we're here. Um, have a look at bar six. What notes do we have there? D, E, D. That's easy, open, first, open. You can write that down if you need to. Um, and then we'll just stop there for today. All right, because we have actually covered a couple of notes on different strings. And we just want to work on that and get used to that. So this is bar five and then bar six. So I'll show you my fingers here on the G string. One, two, three, four. The next bar, we go over to the D string. Okay. I'm going back over to bars five and six in this direction. Uh, actually, I'll do it this way. You can see it better. Remember, our bowing is still making sure that the bow hair is facing you. All right. Okay. Bars five and six. A one, two, three. Four. Open down. All right. Now we'll just try that one more time. Bars five and six. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay. What we're going to do now is I'm going to go from bars one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's all we're going to do for today. 
So this is song number 34, Cattle Ranch Blues. So uh, from, from the start, bar one through to bar six. I'll count in one bar, one and two and three and four. And one, and two, and three. every bar remember that okay otherwise remember you can always use a metronome that could be this one I have batteries inside it or you can use a digital kind of metronome it does the same thing it just helps you keep the rhythm nice and constant all right have a listen to how the cattle ranch blues goes and um, I'll play the whole song for you I'll, but I'll let you know where bars one to six um, finish and then there's another six bars and you just listen to it. Stompy, okay, two, three, four. Bar two, bar three. been able to work on the first six bars of Cattle Ranch Blues and then you heard the next six bars. So that's what we're going to be working on next week, the second part of Cattle Ranch Blues. And remember you just probably noticed the, the tremolo at the end. We always love the tremolo, don't we? <laughs> now, while you're playing this piece of music, stomping around in the dirt, you're probably thinking that you're in the country. Yeah, that's right. Yes, all that cow manure and all that wonderful country fresh air, which you don't actually smell by the ocean. So always think when you're playing Carol Ranch Blues that you're in the country. All right. So in the meantime, have fun working on the first six bars of Carol Ranch Blues, song number 34, and let me know how you go with it. All right. In the meantime, have a lovely week and we'll see you for part B next week. Bye for now.